Well, we are ecstatic about the results. Um, we uh, always thought we had a real possibility. We now are in the position where we can govern there. And it's a great opportunity to show that we can govern a, a city in the middle of the Eastern Cape and deliver the sort of services that we're delivering in the city of Cape Town, also to the residents of Nelson Mandela Bay. What went into the campaigning and stuff there, specifically because, you know, it's, it's always been a bit of a stronghold and coming up to the elections, you know, all eyes on, on Gauteng and obviously on Nelson Mandela Bay as well. What do you think you did right? Well, uh, I'll tell you what we, what we did. We worked uh, very, very hard indeed. Uh, we tried to uh, make personal contact with as many voters as possible to tell them about uh, what the Democratic Alliance uh, offer was. Uh, and this campaign has been going on now for about 18 months, which is why so many people are so tired. You, uh, you're talking about tiredness. I mean, you can look at most people in this room and see that they've been here for, for quite some time. How are you guys coping? How long have you been here? Well, we've been here since the beginning of the week, um, and uh, we've been here pretty well, uh, I suppose, 18 to 20 hours every, every day. Um, and uh, we are sustained by the adrenaline, by coffee, and by the excitement of the results. And talk to me a bit about uh, coalitions. Yeah, well, um, in many of the municipalities concerned, uh, we will have to form coalitions. Uh, we are in discussions with various political parties. We're analysing, as the results come uh, out, with whom we would have to make a coalition in order to govern. And then we make contact with those political parties to find out uh, whether a coalition is possible, and if so, on what terms. How do you mash out the or hash out these terms? I mean, as you as you say, you, you're talking to people, and you're deciding whether whether you'd be able to go into coalition. How do you decide necessity versus you know different ideologies? Well, happily, this is a municipal election and not a national one. So, uh, for the most part, municipal elections are about water and electricity and roads and good services. Uh, so, it is possible to talk to people technocratically rather than ideologically. That's not to say that ideology doesn't play a role, uh, but one is able to concentrate on deliverables, and where one agrees on those deliverables, one is normally able to uh, form a coalition that is sensible and sustainable.